Hello, I'm Brian Kanderk. I wanted to take a quick minute and share my experience with everybody um, that I have had with the Metalist uh, feed. I've been feeding it now for about 10 months. Uh, noticed a big change for the better in our feeding program, which is which is good. We, I mean, we're just kind of a small little, you know, we don't have, we're not a training outfit or anything like that. We just have our horses, you know, we we ranch with them and rope and show and do just you know kind of just hobby stuff and so what i uh kind of the first thing i kind of want to start out with is is um i was a little skeptical to begin with um so every month i'm on a subscription and every month i get a 1500 pound tote of the sprout pellets and so i was a little skeptical to to start because I was paying premium hay price for 1,500 pounds versus a ton, and I was like, "Well, how? It's kind of doesn't make sense, but we'll go ahead and we'll just give it a go anyhow." So, um, when I was first talking to them, they'll, I says, "Well, how's how how is that possible that you're saying that uh, that 1,500 pounds is equivalent to a ton and stuff like that?" And they said, "Well, your horse will eat less of this." And I'm like, "Well, how's okay? What do, what do you mean? How will a horse eat less of this than they will the hay?" And they said that these. Um, so this is this is the sprout pellet right here that I use or that I'm that I'm feeding. Um, they said that when it get you know the horse eats it, it goes into their stomach and they're digesting it that the that the pellet will expand as it's in the horse's stomach. Well, I'm here to tell you that it does expand. <laughs> There's been um, times that they've fallen out on the ground and gotten wet and stuff like that, and that pellet right there uh, will expand probably two to three times its size. And I have noticed that my horses do eat less, and as far as eating less, their body condition has been consistent. They haven't fallen off. Um, uh, their bodies, yeah, they're, they're, they're uh, yeah, they're staying, you know, they don't, yeah, they're staying consistent. I don't know what else to say, but um, I have noticed also that we have some horses that before we was feeding the alfalfa grass mix, um, and they would, you know, typically at times get a little hot i have noticed that the sprout pellets have taken the edge off of um off of them and that's much appreciated also <laughs> uh sec or third thing that i kind of i guess that would be uh, something that i've noticed that's been a big benefit for us is easy to feed um a uh, grain scoop or a, a grain you know a scoop and a half um to two scoops in a bucket morning and night, super easy to feed. The kids can come out and they can, um, it's easy for them to feed. It's easy for my wife to feed, uh, like we were doing before when we had hay. You know, there's no not as many fights with the kids when they're out feeding on who's going to drive or who's going to pitch it off or uh, half the time. By the time they get to the pins, it's, uh, um, it's on the ground. <laughs> not as much waste. The horses don't, you know, they don't tromp on it. They don't pee on it. They don't poop on it. You know, they, they eat it, and that's what it is. And so that's pretty uh, pretty darn, um, yeah, I uh, very much appreciate that. I don't don't have hardly any waste, and so that's pretty cool. But anyhow, that's kind of my two cents on it. I would encourage anybody who's um, uh, interested in looking you know, kind of looking into it. Look it up on the website. You know, they call, give the guys a call. They're really good to work with. Um, they, uh, yeah, you call them, they call you back. You text them, they text you back. They're, they're really, really, really personable guys to deal with. And so, anyhow, uh, yeah, look, look them up.